<laughs> okay. So I, I'm getting more votes for Ego. So this is what I want you guys to do. Okay. Okay. So uh, we'll start with Ego, but it'll help with it. So everything helps everything. So it's not, okay, there, now things are evenly divided by the Ego. Um, so this is what I, uh, do you guys have a candle? Anyone have a candle? Okay. I know candles are becoming extinct. So I want you guys to um, take your, I mean, this is going to be weird. So I, I use the middle finger, but I'm not trying to flip you guys off. It's just, let's do this. Okay. So normally I curl in my thumb, but then maybe I'll get banned from Twitch because if you use more than one thing. And I want you to take your middle finger and put it um, I'm trying to think about maybe like a centimeter, like a tiny, tiny amount away from the the area between your eyebrows. And then I don't know how else to say this, but do you guys feel something? Like, don't touch it. But just leave it like very close. Right? And then, so, so it's kind of weird. Like, it's fucking weird. So just close your eyes and just focus on that sensation. But try to keep your hands steady. Just focus on the sensation. Now, with your eyes closed, I want you to relax your hand. Put your hand down, sit up straight, and just focus, put all of your concentration on the spot on the forehead where you felt something. Or the spot kind of between your eyebrows. Try to just... If you're having trouble concentrating on the spot, just feel that spot. You can concentrate on the spot, you can feel the spot, and then this is going to sound kind of weird too. If you're having trouble or not having trouble, try to move towards it. Like, try to imagine that your attention is like a ray of light, and that it's like moving towards that spot, or even out of that spot. When you're ready, go ahead and come back. Slowly exhale, rise. How do you feel? Yeah, right? So your, your ability to detect color changes. Feel calm. Now I'm going to ask you guys, I, I almost feel like we should do, um, perfect. That's good. So I feel like we should do like a, a, a group discord voice thing, because when I teach meditation, I like to ask people about their experiences and I just don't like, that's okay. So uh, I, I like to ask people about 
you know, what they felt. So I'm going to ask you guys, like, what did you feel over the course of that? Did you feel any sensations? How would you describe what you felt um, with your finger? Um, how did it dis- how did it feel when you closed your eyes? Right. So, like, now see, this is cool, right? Like, cause, like, just look at Twitch chat. Like, something is happening. Someone felt tickling, someone felt like it shined a light on their skull, someone felt like an eye ripple like a wave, like it's fucking weird. But this is what I love about meditation, is that when you do a good meditation technique, like a proper meditation technique, you start to feel really cool stuff. And... And, and so what I love about it is like when, when you, you when, so people think that like meditation is just like, oh, calm your mind, like observe your thoughts. Like, no, man, like that's not what meditation is about. Meditation is about experiencing like wonderful and amazing things. It's about like feeling sensations. Like, like, you know, if you have like an out of body experience with meditation and like someone said, like, it felt like charging, uh, like I was charging up a laser beam. That's like, that's fucking cool. Like, that's why I meditate. Like, I got into meditation not to attain inner peace. Like, what I loved about it when I went to India is people were teaching me stuff that gave me, like, cool experiences. Because I like laser beams. I like playing video games with laser beams. And I like the experience of charging up a laser beam. Like, that's just cool. And so if you guys are doing this stuff, like, that's awesome. I'm glad you guys felt this stuff because over time, as you start to practice more and more, this is just the first time you guys have been meditating. You learned this, you learned this technique like 60, you did it for 60 seconds. And this is what you felt. You felt yourself charging up a laser beam after 60 seconds of meditation. Now you go, you walk down the street and you ask a dozen people that you meet, hey, have you ever felt like you're charging up your inner laser beam? Like people aren't going to know what the fuck you're talking about. But how cool is that? That that's actually your experience. Like it's insane. This is what meditation is about, is cultivating inner experience, right? And then, like, people are also talking a little bit about, um, you know, so one person says, bad boy, kill a gaming, says, during all this time, I couldn't stop giggling l- nervously. And then, like, it, uh, also said, like, I, all I could feel was my anxiety fighting to keep itself alive. Like, absolutely. So... The first thing is that if if sensations come out in meditation, like let them come out. That's how it heals you. So you guys have like, you know, we were talking about anger being depression. I mean, depression is anger turned against the self. Anxiety and panic is like his bipolar tendencies of like energy and movement being suppressed. So when stuff gets suppressed, like it comes out in a maladaptive way. And so the other cool thing about meditation is that when we start to meditate, like some of this weird stuff that's buried starts to come up. And the cool thing is sometimes what's buried is actually positivity. If you felt like giggling and nervous, like that's cool. Like you should be giggling. Like giggling is, so people talk about meditation cultivates bliss. The first step of bliss is giggling. Giggling is something that people don't do enough of. Like if we think about children who are like innocent and pure and happy in the simplest way, they giggle very easily. And you think about people like ourselves, like gamers who are, you know, gamers may laugh. They'll laugh at the dankest of memes, right? You'll laugh at malding, but giggling is different. Like there's no schadenfreude in giggling. Like you, when, you know, schadenfreude is like, you know, malding is about schadenfreude. There's like something vicious about that. It's like laughing at someone else's expense. It's making fun of them. It's a really like, you know, nice and baked and burnt, burnt, like dank meme. Like that's, you know, that's gamer humor. And that can be funny, but giggling is something simple and it's pure. So if you start to experience that during meditation, let it come out. And then the other thing is, I mean, so Bad Boy Killer Gaming says, all I could feel was my anxiety fighting to keep itself alive. Absolutely. So what we want, we want to teach you something where the negative causes of your suffering are struggling to stay alive. Whereas most of the time, your anxiety isn't fighting to keep itself alive. You're fighting the anxiety to keep yourself alive. So in 60 seconds, if we could create a situation where your anxiety is struggling to stay alive and you're charging up your fucking laser beams, like, I'll take it. That's why you guys should meditate. 
forget about all this like neuroscience stuff. It's not about neuroscience. Like, sure, we talk about neuroscience. We talk about physiology. We talk about cortisol. We talk about building creativity and focus and empathy. And all that stuff is important, but that's not the real reason we meditate. The real reason we meditate is because of all of this. It's for the experience. And, and the effects of it down the road are great, but it's really about the experience. Um, <laughs> yeah, so artificial intelligence says, Doc, I, I think I'm ready to come on entrepreneur burnout. You can fix this. We can talk about it. But remember, I can't, I can't fix anything, right? Because I'm not allowed to dispense medical advice over the internet. I'm happy to talk to you about it. So go ahead and sign up. Um, yeah, so uh, one thing I would be careful about. Uh, so Digital Dude 1 asks, so that was the ego meditation. Is the anxiety one a different technique? Yes. The anxiety one's a different technique. You guys, okay, we can do that one. Let's do that one too. I've taught this one, I think, on screen before. So the first thing you guys need to do is sit up straight. We're going to do an anxiety meditation that I'm going to talk at you guys for a little while. It's to sit up straight. So it's important that your back be straight. And one day I need to teach you guys how to sit. So we'll do that one day. Um, and we're going to do an anxiety technique. Yeah, you can lie on the floor. Uh, it's going to be hard to lie on the floor for this one. Um, So Donut Muncher asks, is anxiety good for, uh, is meditation good for anxiety? Uh, so meditation is good for all kinds of things. Like there's studies that show that anxiety is helpful for insomnia. It's helpful for anxiety. It's helpful for depression. But what I think Western science doesn't understand is like they don't understand the specificity of techniques. So like if you go to India and you learn, so I studied for several years and I learned like lots of different kinds of meditation from different people in different traditions. And my experience has been uh, that meditation, like different kinds of meditations are good for different things. And yes, that first one, so the third eye meditation is is for ego. 